हे गाइज दिस इज सुभाषिष मिश्र योर टेस्ट कोच टुडे आई विल शेयर द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन व्हिच आर आस्ट इन एच सी एल टेक्नोलॉजी द इंटरव्यू वॉज मेनली फॉर जावा सेलेनियम टेस्टर्स हैविंग वन टू सिक्स इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई हैव कलेक्टेड दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मल्टीपल पीपल सो इफ यू हैव एन इंटरव्यू स्कीड्यूल फॉर एच सी एल टेक्नोलॉजी देन गो थ्रू दिस क्वेश्चन एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट आई एम श्योर दिस विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक द इंटरव्यू Here I will not explain the answers as I have covered most of the interview questions and answers in my previous videos. I will give the playlist link in the video description. Please go through that. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any notification. Okay? So let's start. If you are going to HCL for an interview for software test engineer or senior software test engineer role there will be 3 to 4 rounds of interviews sometime it is 3 sometime it is 4 first round will be an online test based on java selenium and testing concepts again this online test is not mandatory for few people first round is directly technical so do not worry sometime they conduct this online test but it is not mandatory then the second round will be a technical round again third round will be a technical sometime if you are going to a client side if you are working for hcl but you have to work for a different client of hcl in that time maybe you will face one client round which is again technical then the fourth one and final one will be a hr round so that will be again simple do not worry anyway i'll explain all these questions what they are asking how the interview will be so basically you will face two technical rounds and one hr round okay so that's all about the interview pattern so now let's go ahead and see what are the interview questions they ask in the uh, first round first technical round so let's see that so i spoke to multiple people and collected all these interview questions so if we'll see in both first round and second round these two are technical rounds and the questions will be like mix of java selenium manual testing unix sql so you will get questions around this only right so let's see what are the questions so the very first thing anyway in any interview you will get this questions tell something about yourself so this is basically an introduction okay so they will get to know about you so what you are working on what is your current role and responsibility so they can build up questions on top of that right so this will be your uh, first question go for any interview you will face this then the second one is uh, what is your role and responsibility in your current project so basically some people ask this to find out like what you are key area what is your key area right so if you are working more on uh, frameworks if you are working more on like writing test cases or if you are working on manually or you are working on selenium what is your skill sets so people try to get that information or how much you are involved in the project right so how much you know the functionality of the product so they will get to know they will get that idea right so what is your role and responsibility in your current project then the third question is explain the automation framework you are using so people want to understand what is the exact framework you are using right so you have to explain what is the framework you are using so then immediately people see the next question is what is data driven framework maybe the candidate who explained maybe he told he is using data driven framework then maybe the immediately the next question will be what is data driven framework so you can expect one thing here is the questions are coming from framework okay what is the framework you are using what kind of framework it is if you will able to explain the each and every component of your framework right then what is test ng so again a very basic question right so when people are asking about your framework then definitely they ask about what is test ng how you are using test ng so see the immediately the next question is how to pass parameter from test ng.xml what is the use of data provider and explain how you use it in your project 
right very important question about data provider right then the next thing is selenium you see what are the locators so the question is first the questions are done with the some some amount of questions are done with the framework then the next question shifted to selenium what are the locators then the next question is how do you identify any text box or buttons so when people are asking about you the locators then definitely they can ask ask this kind of questions how you will able to locate so it is mainly the questions on locators how you are able to locate it then what is the difference between explicit weight and fluent weight or sometimes people ask also explicit weight implicit weight and fluent weight so prepare on that what are the different weight mechanisms we have then let's see the next question what are the challenges you have faced in your automation project and how you overcome those so this is very real time question people want to understand when you have worked on something then definitely you would have faced some challenges right so what are those challenges and how you overcome that challenges right how you resolve those problems right so problems will come but how you are resolving it that is important right so that is what a question is here what are the challenges you have faced then the next question is how to handle alerts using web driver this is again very very important question in lot of interviews you will face how you handle alerts using selenium web driver see the next question is how to handle multiple window can you write code for it see people ask you right when they ask you how you are able to do it then sometimes they ask you to write the code because it's not like that you just remember something and you are uh, telling you have to write it and you have to show it then they can ask also some cross questions on that so be prepared for it how to handle authentication window how to write expats for dynamic web pages like facebook status maybe they can give you some page can you write some expat for that dynamic web page so prepare all these things what is severity what is priority in software testing see this is something some testing concept right so you should understand what is severity what is priority so it's not like that you know only automation you know java you know selenium but you don't understand the testing concepts right these are the very basic concept you should understand when you are raising a bug you should understand what is severity what is priority write test cases for a banking application maybe they gave some banking application and on top of that you need to write you need to build up some test cases so how you are creating test how you are writing test cases so how you are building the scenarios that people want to see so when you are a tester you should know how you will able to test one application what is the end to end test you are doing right then the next thing is difference between smoke and sanity test what is the velocity in agile and if you have completed 30 story points in a sprint then how do you calculate the velocity of that sprint so again this questions are more real time questions if you are working on a project then what kind of sdlc process you are using if you are using agile if you are using sprint so what are the different things you are doing in the in that so what is velocity in agile so you should understand these things right so questions on that if you do not complete the story in a sprint what is the next step you will take so again very real time questions so if you are not able to complete then what you are going to what is your take on that what you will do right so they want to understand your perspective right so that's all uh, for the uh, fast technical round uh, questions i have uh, covered here let's move to the second technical round questions let's see the first question what is a static block in java this is a very fundamental question right what is static block in java the very basic questions in java so prepare well right what is inheritance where you have used it in your project again very fundamental basic questions in java right oops concept difference between method overloading and method overriding so you need to understand all these things very basic questions right what is an access modifier and how many types of access modifiers we have again java basic questions right what is constructor and why there is no return value right so maybe this interviewer was covering more into java questions right because the first round was more of selenium and uh, manual testing questions so here if we'll see more of java questions what is constructor why there is no return value what is the difference between array and array list what is the difference between set and list i think if we'll cover to our uh, basic 
questions interview questions java top interview questions which we have covered in our previous videos you will get all these answers right so go through those videos and see what are these answers if you don't know if you know then well and good then the next question is write code to read a property file so very very important question when you are using a framework when you are using selenium so you should know how to read a property file right so again this i have covered in one of our previous videos you can refer to that right so let's see the next question write code to reverse a string a very basic program so just to understand your java skills maybe they are giving this type of questions write code to reverse a string very basic Uh, freshers should also able to answer this write a program to find all the duplicate character and their count in a string again i will say this is also a basic question but yes you should practice all these programs on string programs on arrays so let's see the next question write a program to remove all the white spaces from a string again one more program from a string yeah uh, basic again you should practice it right write a program to sort the elements of an array in descending order so again one question from array you have to sort it in descending order so all these programs if you will see right i have given it i have explained it in our videos in our previous videos so go through them if you don't know then move all zeros to the end of the array given an array of integers move all zeros to the end of the array push all the zeros of a given array to the end of the array so here you can see they have given example something like this my array is equal to like this then what you need to convert it you need to convert all the zeros to the end right so this is like the output array so you need to write a program to achieve this right so think how you can do it then see the questions around sql so how can you create a table then i think there are some basic commands around sql so practice all the basic sql commands again you can refer to our sql questions interview questions so i have two videos in that in one we have covered most of the sql concept and in the second one we have covered most of the sql commands you get in the interviews so practice that right so the next question is write a sql sub query to join employee and return the table three values so basically it is a join query you have to write then there is a question on update query then you have query to find second largest salary okay so again there are few questions on sql you can see most mostly on the query side so you have to practice all these sql queries also so that's all in the second technical round now let's go to the next round that is hr round questions so hr round is mostly a normal discussion and then salary negotiation and uh, joining date related questions so not much complicated so don't worry much about the hr round it will be a normal discussion round they will ask you some questions so answer it honestly so then there will be a salary negotiation and they will ask you about how soon you can join some joining date related queries and again it is not a complicated process that's all I hope this questions will give some idea what kind of questions are asked in HCL. You may not get exact this questions, but you can expect similar pattern questions. So prepare all questions related to Java, related to Selenium, SQL, and manual testing. You can always refer to our interview questions and answers playlist. Link is given in the description. All the best for your interview. Please comment and let me know if it is helpful for you. Also let me know out of these questions how many you got in your interview and what are the new questions you were asked thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel